For years now, Hollywood and large corporations have been bringing back old IPs from the 80s, 90s, and beyond. Now we're into the Scooby-Doo era. And everybody has been asking, why not just create new things? Why not just, for the love of God, leave the things that once were alone? Why go back and have to put all of these political messages and all of these different things in media? We saw it with Star Wars. We saw it with Star Trek. We've seen it with so many things. People who grew up and they loved Doctor Who. We saw this god-awful version of the Powerpuff Girls try to come out on like the CW or something. Now now we're seeing Scooby-Doo and on a live stream the other night I briefly discussed this and it finally hit me the reason that they are trying to take all of these properties and bring them into the modern age is not to ruin your childhood but to use your childhood against your children Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce and welcome to A Drink With Crazy. I hope everybody here likes the content that I'm doing. And if you would, hit that subscribe button and like the video. That does so much for the channel. If you guys really like what I'm talking about and want to engage in the conversation, go in the comments down below and I will do my best to respond to everybody that I can. But let's get into this. <clears throat> so Velma... Scooby-Doo. A lot of theories have been floating around online, and I want to contribute my own to this little thought bubble. They keep saying, oh, well, they're just trying to keep pushing the message. They're just trying. Well, why? Why is it so important that they keep pushing this message? Something that we have been asking for years and years. We've seen the downfall of a lot of our favorite properties, and I would imagine for those who are checking out this video, you are well aware of what has been happening to modern day media. However, there are many people out there who do not pay attention to these things the way that this audience may and it finally hit me they're not doing all of this because they want to ruin our childhood and say that our childhood was bad but what they're trying to do is remake a classic show that you liked and enjoyed and when your kids go oh hey mom hey dad there's this show that like you liked and there there's a there's a show i'm watching scooby-doo oh yes honey scooby-doo is a very fun show and you just let them go out into the living room and watch scooby-doo not realizing the heinous things they're showing if you've seen the thumbnail for this video i had to block out a certain part because although they covered up a certain amount in that shot. There was still enough showing that I felt that it needed to be covered up more. This is why they release movies and go, oh, wow, this new property from when I was a kid is coming out and I really want to go see it and check it out. And everybody brings their families there. And then by the time they get out, parents are having to erase what their children just saw. But these people who are weaponizing the media, these people who are weaponizing these things against us, taking the things from our childhood, re-injecting them into society, are hoping that we as parents scoop our children up and dash to the theater in order to try to show our children some semblance of what we lived through when we were younger although when we get there we see the horrific things that they're done and the messaging that they're trying to push by then it is too late anybody who has children knows that they soak up information like sponges and once it is in there it's very hard to get that information out and correct that information especially for a lot of parents who don't have time to constantly monitor the media that is out there it took me years to think about this. I've pondered on it a lot. Why push the message so much? And I finally connected the dots. I know that people who are pushing this message work on 20 year timelines. If you go and you do the research, you can find a lot of things and this involves the political world and something that I have done. You can actually see what their timelines are on. You can see the documents. You can see how they're trying to influence governments and corporations and so on and so forth. But one of the things is to grab the culture, but not the culture of today, the culture of 20 years from now. So that way, when they grow up, they grew up, watch it. Well, mom and dad watched this show and I watched this show. You know, their show was a little different than mine, but mine was fine. I've in fact met people that have flat out said to me, if public school is good enough for me, it's good enough for my kids. And that is the trap that they have been laying for years. And it took me some time to think about it, but I was finally able to piece the things together. I was finally able to understand why they decimated so many properties that I loved. Now, they showed their hand in the last few years with the accelerationism that they have been going for, and I couldn't understand why dive into the media, especially the children's media. It seems so blatantly obvious to me, but I do my best to monitor what my children watch, and so does my wife. 
And finally, I was able to realize the insidiousness of what they were really going for. It's not for people like you and I who are enveloped in this, who watched what happened, who guard against these things. But it was specifically designed for the parents who don't have the time. So I would ask all of the parents out there, if you have friends who are letting their kids watch this, inform them, let them know, say, hey, it's not the same thing that we watched when we were kids. There's a lot of crazy things going on out there. Touch base with those in your community that are close to you, the parents that, you're, for, that your children play with. We've already had to have conversations with parents that, you know, with parents of children who play with our kids. I should have said that earlier, All right? Children, yeah, you, you guys get what I'm saying, right? Talk with the parents of the children that your children play with. We've already had to have conversations. We've had to tell them, hey, because there are things that need to stay out of our house. The kids are fine. They're lovely kids. But the problem is, is the messaging is getting to them. And my wife and I, as much as we want our children to be a part of the world and contribute in society, it's getting increasingly harder for parents to guard against these things, especially when it's being come from so many different directions. How do you protect your children from their own friends anymore? And this is the true insidious nature of what is happening here in our media, what has been happening for many years. So I want to know what you guys think about my thought bubble here and my contribution to this topic. I want to know what you guys think about how they have changed things. It, does this make sense as to why they're trying to bring things back from your childhood and market them to your children? Is this why all of a sudden He-Man was altered in the way that he was altered? Is this all of a sudden the reason that Scooby-Doo is being altered in the way that it's being altered? Is this why Star Wars was changed so radically many years ago? Is this all because they are trying to capture and captivate the trust of a parent's childhood and weaponize the parent's childhood against their children? Please let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And also, because this isn't my typical video, share this video on every social media platform you can because I am very concerned that this video won't get recommended by the YouTube algorithm the way that other videos of mine have. I tend to talk about the Iron Age creation, creators out there that are on the small scale, that are writing their own things. I've talked about uh, quite a few authors on this channel, authors I have books sitting over here that I'm reading currently, but this one, it hit home for me the other night when I spoke about it on my live stream, and I really wanted to get this out there to everybody, so please, please, please share this video with everyone. I think these, this insidious thing that they are doing, I think I was finally able to, to figure it out. Maybe I wasn't. Maybe I'm not as smart as I think I am, and if you think that I'm not as smart, as I think I am, comment down below and let me know your thoughts on why they have been trying to radicalize children's media, but especially retro media from when you were a child. So thank you all so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy. And um, oh yeah, I had a beer tonight. I was supposed to say that I was drinking a beer. Well, for those of you out there who are checking this out, cheers to all of you. And I look forward to seeing you next time.